This is Joe Clark from Eclipse Rover and today I want to talk to you about our open loop wireless servo driven pan and tilt. It's got a five pound capacity so it'll work with a variety of cameras. This one it weighs about three pounds, uh, about two, and this one is also about maybe two and a half the DSLR. With this size it can actually use a bigger lens. And, uh, Right now I've got it mounted on the SMR uh, Eclipse Rover, which is our smallest model. And so with a five pound capacity and this camera, it's uh, still got uh, some oomph to it. It comes with a controller so you can use it. And these uh, Manfrotto connectors are available on our website also. So I've got one down here on the mounting plate and then another one up here so I can just take the camera, snap it on there. Make sure it's on there good. Then I can take the controller and it's continuous. So you can go completely around and around and around as much as you need to. And this is variable speed too. So if I want to, I can go really, really slow. So you can see I've got it hooked up to some uh, AA batteries here. You can hook up, up to a 12 or 11.1 uh, LiPo to it if you want to, but this works pretty good for a, quite a long time, as long as you unplug it when you're done. There's some other cool things about this uh, pan and tilt, besides being wireless and light and having a lot of capacity and being smooth. Anyway, you can take this and with our Manfrotto mounts, you can mount this or with your uh, camera mounts, you can mount this to your tripod. You can mount it to a jib. And using the detachable mounting plates on any of our Eclipse rovers, you could take it, the whole unit off this with the thumb screws and put it on a wall, strap it to a tree or whatever. And we sell magnetic mounts that, that bolt onto the plate. So you can take this plate and stick it on top of your hood of your car. The, the uh, top of your car, the side of your car, uh, the side of a dump truck, underneath the truck. Uh, there's just endless amounts of ways you can use it. One of my favorite is when I stuck it on the bucket of an excavator that looked really interesting. Anyway, uh, we use FPV a lot on these. Uh, so meaning first person view, we'll hook that up to our camera, run it on the rover so we can see what we're doing. But the pan and tilts gives us a lot of versatility on, uh, on the way we use it. Now the way this, this controller is set up, uh, we tilt and we pan, and that's continuous 360. But if you wanna use both these sticks, in other words, uh, one panning and one tilting, all you have to do is move the servo connection in the, in the receiver on the, on the machine from uh, where it's at over to slot four and then it'll run, this one will run one way and this will run the other way. The other thing is is that you can, if it's set up like this, you can go up in the corner and you can go both ways at the same time. If it's set up with the, uh, one of the wires in, in uh, slot four, you could, you could run them both at the same time. See you on EclipseRover.com. Have a good one.